The flow of solids in an inclined pipeline will follow many of the same patterns as seen in horizontal flow. However, the effect of gravity on the formation of the sliding bed will add a significant destabilizing effect. In this clear pipeline demonstration, we have a mixture of water and silica-based solids. The particle diameters range from 4 millimeters to 500 microns. At the higher velocity seen here, the flow closely resembles that seen in a horizontal pipeline. Stratified flow is seen, eventually resolving into a sliding bed as the velocity decreases. At the point that a sliding bed begins to form, gravity forces on the bed oppose the main direction of flow and lead to the formation of density waves much larger than normally seen in horizontal pipe flow. These eventually resolve into recirculation cells as the flow decreases further. Ultimately, as bed deposition begins, that flow of the bed itself is seen. All of these additional flow structures will lead to increased pipe friction and perhaps more importantly, the potential for system instabilities. Because of these effects, inclined pipelines should generally be avoided, especially at angles between 20 and 50 degrees where these effects are maximized. Whenever possible, the replacement of an inclined pipe with vertical and horizontal sections is preferred. It will have lower friction losses and greater stability, even though the distance of pipe is greater. Where inclined pipes cannot be avoided, higher velocities will be needed to prevent deposition. Larger values for the friction losses must also be allowed. For more detail, consult the GIW textbook, Slurry Transport Using Centrifugal Pumps, for the theory and methods concerning inclined pipes.